Next, I would like to talk to you guys about our dense media separation testing capabilities. To my left here is our Condor EMS pilot plant. But before any piloting work actually takes place, we must first determine whether a sample is amenable to the DMS process. To achieve this, we have to perform a bench scale testing known as the heavy liquid separation test, or HLS test. Okay, so right now we have a floor spar sample being tested for HLS investigations. Um, the heavy media we use is the lithium meta tungstate, and the SG of this media is currently set at 2.8. Um, we're about to begin our test. Since the DMS process is typically applied in the early combination stages, the HLS test feed is crushed to a relatively coarse particle top size for the amenability study. Here at several labs, we would test a range of top crush sizes from one inch down to quarter inch. The fine particles, which are generally classified below the half millimeter to one millimeter range, is removed by screening. The screen oversize is then subjected to a sequence of heavy media baths, with SGs ranging from 2.4 to 3.1. The target minerals of value, such as gold, silver, base metals, tin, tungsten, fluorospar, and lithium, would sink in the media because of their naturally higher SG while the gang, such as quartz, mica, and carbonates, will float because of their lower natural SG. While the bench scale HLS test can tell us whether a sample is amenable to the DMS process, it will also determine the operating parameters for the industrial DMS plant. Factors such as crush size, SG of the heavy media, and the quality of the products will all be determined by the HLS test. Since the Condor DMS is a multi-stage separator, capable of operating at multiple SG cut points. The unit can be configured into different rougher scavenger cleaner setups. This means the condor can sometimes produce a concentrate which immediately achieves target grade in the first separation stage, while the subsequent stages can produce a lower grade pre-concentrate which can be further processed by other methods such as gravity concentration and flotation.